All right, folks, so this is the first true reaction in glycolysis, even though it's not truly committed to glycolysis. Uh, it's the hexokinase reaction, where glucose reacts with ATP to be phosphorylated to glucose 6-phosphate and to release an ADP. This is a very favorable reaction because it's coupled to ATP. And as we learned, hexokinase has a rather low KM, which means it binds really tightly to glucose. Um, now, both these products are going to be released and regenerated at the end of the reaction. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is, if we look at our positions, we have, you know, one, and we have a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six carbon on this glucose. And so we're going to be adding our phosphoryl group onto this oxygen. But of course, this hydrogen's in the way. So the enzyme has a organized aspartic acid residue that's deprotonated, and it's perfect for acting as a base to pull off that hydrogen. Now remember, pulling off that hydrogen is going to give us a negative charged oxygen, and it's going to make that much more nucleophilic for the attack we need to do over here on the gamma phosphate. And remember, from the ring of ATP, it's alpha, beta, gamma. So our reaction is going to be as easy as this. We're going to pull that hydrogen off with our aspartic acid, and we're going to use the bond electrons to attack the phosphorus. And of course, phosphorus can have five bonds, and so we're going to break a bond here too. Okay, so now we're going to have a charged aspartic or a protonated aspartic acid, and we're going to have linked the glucose and ATP together for just a second. So zooming in a little bit, what you can see here is we have now make a pentavalent uh, phosphorus. We have five bonds, uh, and we're literally linked in here. Now, of course, P double bond O's, just like C double bond O's, want to be reformed. And so that's the next step here, is we're going to collapse our double bond. And we're also going to clip off our um, ADP piece. So we're breaking the bond between the gamma phosphate and the beta phosphate. Now, really, it doesn't go to this bond. We could say it's going to do this to get us a negative charge. Remember, this magnesium here is going to help us deal with some of the buildup of negative charge that happens during the reaction. And the favorable electrostatic attractions that happen between magnesium and the negative oxygens is much more favorable, and it contributes quite a bit of free energy to the reaction. So magnesium is really our catalyst here. It really is what makes the reaction go. Of course, the aspartic acid does quite a bit, being at the right place in the right time to help everything along, too. So after our reaction now, we have a released glucose 6-phosphate, which has this phosphoryl group on it. We have an ADP that's ready to go, but our enzyme is not recharged yet. Our aspartic acid is protonated, and remember, it starts out deprotonated, so it can pull off this hydrogen that used to be here. So the last step in this reaction is to use our EDP electrons here to pull off that hydrogen and to recharge our aspartic acid. And now we are ready to go again. We have a glucose 6-phosphate, which is going to go on in glycolysis, a recharged aspartic acid, ready to go again, and ADP, which is going to get released. And we're ready to go again. So that's hexokinase.